Hello and welcome to a new video. Oh my gosh, I know. Today we will be doing a new sort of series thing because I thought this would be a fun idea. You know what I mean? So for this video, I am going to try to be replicating an artist's style, basically. And we're going to learn about all the ins and outs and try to figure out what makes this art so cool. For the first episode, we should go back to my roots, who this art is. I was very obsessed with this artist. They used to be called The Crottable. Now it's just art by Lee Crott. I literally have three originals by them because I was, I was so obsessed. But look, look how good this is. Sorry for that shadow. I'm so sorry. Anyways, come over here. Okay, this one, this one is sliding off the frame. I should have put some like tape back there to be honest. This one. This one's a banger. Without further ado, let us get into the RT. So I noticed, I noticed they draw a lot of people with pink hair. Or maybe that's just, maybe that's just the same character. But um, yeah, so the thing we see the most is front facing portraits. Right here, let me, let me just scroll with my, okay. So you can see Lots of, lots of front facing. Yes, yes, yes. So we obviously need to do a front facing portrait. And what else is recognizable is, is the eyes, okay? The eyes, look at those eyes. They, they pull you in. They, they just, they take you in. And they, they suck you. And of course, their main medium is watercolor, so we're gonna do some watercoloring. Let's get to the drawing board. So the paper I'm going to be using is Arcs. Why is this so stuck? I am going to chop this in half because I want it to be smaller and we should begin sketching. Now we are on to the time-lapse portion and I just taped down the sides of my paper so it would stay flat and and I just went in with the good old regular wooden pencil and I'm just making a rough sketch right here you know just thinking about the proportions and making sure that's all right and I noticed that this Likrat over here uses uses pretty anime proportions you know with the Big eyes and the small nose, small chin, small mouth. Okay, there's a big, big em emphasis on the eyes. Okay, they're very, the pupils are very round. They're very big. All right, they're huge. They're huge. All right. So I made sure to incorporate that. And also, they like, they first go in with the regular pencil, and I think um, after that. I watched their live streams back in the day in the day and they would go in with a mechanical pencil and kind of treat it like a fine lighter and make the line art basically and this art style is very detailed oriented which gives it that very detailed look I know this insight is incredible you are learning so much but anyways I'm talking about individual eyelashes, eyebrow hairs, even hair hairs. As you can see, I am drawing in these strands, kind of just following the basic shape in like more of a patterny way, not really in a realistically natural way, you know, because because the more patterny shapes is interesting. And then, so that's the pencil-y stuff. And we're gonna start painting as you can see from my brush. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna soak this paper. And I think, you know, honestly, I don't really know why you do this, but I think it just helps the paper prepare. And I think you can only do this with 100% cotton paper or else it will murder your paper. So yeah. And here's some amazing footage of 
me mixing paint on my hideously disgusting watercolor palette. So yeah, I just got a new phone and this camera is kind of nuts, so I'm kind of just taking advantage of that. You know what I mean? You know, you know what you know. I mean, you know what I mean. I, I missed a few words there, but you get the point. Okay, and now we are on to the coloring. I did want to state also that I used a blending stump just to add some shading with pencil to kind of establish the values, because that's what that's what the licorot does. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It uh, it helps with that. They establish the values, alright. I have some more beautiful footage of me painting. And just, you can hear, to look at, hear these sounds, hear the sound of the brush on the paper, doesn't it, doesn't it relax you? Should I be whispering? Well guys, today, we will do some painting ASMR. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Just kidding. You should be grateful. But moving on. Um, what to, what to know about this coloring? Well, first of all, I'm kind of just laying down the flat colors. And... You know what? I kind of want a new watercolor palette because I feel like these colors... They're like... Too bright. They're like neon. And it... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my watercolor so I kind of want something different. I think they're by like Magello, Magello or something, I don't know. Um, but yes, okay. You can see I'm shading. I'm shading with this really bright blue color, which actually I don't think this artist really does. They usually just shade with a more normal neutral color. <laughs> but you know, I like the, I liked, I liked this color of the blue. It looks cool. And uh, yeah. And this lighting is just like a top-down thing, so yeah. And I also also notice with their shading that the way they shade things is kind of like kind of like in a 2D style. It's kind of cell shaded. Well, I mean, like their faces are very like very rendered, and they have this 3D shape with lots of depth. But like I don't know, I kind of captured the. 2D effect with the hair accessories, I think. If you know what I mean, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you even know what I'm talking about? But yeah, look at that, zooming in action. That's crazy. Oh, 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 and also, you know what? Every, every artist has a style to their themes that they draw. And Lee Crotable is like, the themes they draw is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's, it borders to like cute, to spooky, to gross, you know, that's cool. Also here is one of the most iconic parts. And it's of course the magical gel pens, which will add just another dimension. It adds texture because of the glitter. It's very cool. And look how satisfying. That's just so satisfying. So, I just use these gel pens, they're from, what are they, they're, they're like called the jelly roll pens. They're very fun to use, very glittery. The stardust ones, th those are the glittery ones. This is just a regular white one that is kind of a staple in the, the artist world, I think, I don't know. I'm pretty sure, at least back in the day it was. Uh, uh. So yeah. Oh, you want to hear something funny? I actually, back in the day, this this was actually probably like a few years ago. I I was like, I had no idea what what is drawing, what is art style. Okay, I didn't know what was drawing, but like, I don't know what what was it with art style. And I would basically copy a lot from artists. 
just like in this video oh my gosh and one time i drew something i drew a watercolor painting and it and then people commented because i posted it on instagram and they were like this looks so much like like crop tuples art and a lot of people said that and then i was like I felt I was ashamed. I I took it off. I was so ashamed. But anyways, I don't know. Is is art style stealing real? Is that a thing? To should it should it be illegal? Should people who do that go to jail? How do you know? How do you know if you or a loved one has stolen art? That is another whole philosophical situation for another video. So. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something from this artist investigation and have a nice day.